Another beautiful night here from the garage. I mean, I love this time of year. Hey everybody, I'm Mark. You're watching the Garage Guy 879 channel. This is Friday night, May 5th, 2023. And I want to send a shout out to a fellow YouTuber. I'm talking Jamie, a.k.a. JH586, the brains behind the operation known as the Georgia Shooting Connection. He's got a great live stream every Friday night at 8 o'clock. Head on over to the Georgia Shooting Connection channel. Hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of good folks come on there every Friday night, and uh, they talk about Pro 2A uh, subjects. And always a good chat, good people there. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Anyway, uh, maybe a month or so back, I'd mentioned Jamie in a comment I'd left about the uh, Phoenix Arms HP 22A. Uh, it's a very small pistol chambered in 22 long rifle. And he'd replied back that he'd been thinking about putting one of those in his wife's pocketbook, which, you know, that that's fine, but it is a firearm you have to get used to. Okay, there are a lot of other options out there available, but uh, you know, the HP 22A, it's decent. I had one 11 years ago, I sold it to a neighbor, and I tried to buy it back. He wouldn't sell it, and that thing is still going strong. And just a few weeks ago, I did a comparison video with an HP 22A that a buddy of mine, Joe, we've all seen him here on my channel before in the past, uh, he let me borrow it to do a comparison video with the uh, Ruger LCP2 Chamber 22LR. And uh, I've got some really good feedback from that video. But uh, Jamie, this video right here is about the Phoenix Arms Deluxe Range Kit. Now, you can get the Phoenix Arms pistol, 3-inch barrel, 5-inch barrel, matted stainless finish, uh, matted black finish. You can get a range kit, which doesn't have near as many as accessories as the deluxe range kit. And we're looking about 250 bucks right here. So, uh, what do you say we go over here on a bench under the bright light? and see what comes with this. Let's make it happen. All right, my friends, here we are on the bench under the bright light, and uh, here's the case it comes in. Phoenix Arms Deluxe Range Kit, right here. Now, as you can see this uh, silver or chrome or whatever it is, little thingy there, that is a key lock. This comes with uh, two keys. I'll show you here in a minute, but you can lock this case right here. Uh, nice little feature. Let's turn it around. We'll open it up, and we'll see what we got in it right here. Let me get it centered in frame. Get it opened up, and voila, there we go. All right, the, uh, you have a range kit that comes from Phoenix Arms. And you'd probably have to look online to see what the difference is. I think uh, the range kit itself just comes with the one magazine, maybe one barrel. But the deluxe range kit right here, you have the firearm. And every firearm in this video has been safety checked. Uh, they're not loaded. All right. This comes with a 5-inch barrel right here, as you can see. And it also comes with the 3-inch barrel. A lot of people prefer this, you know, as a backup or whatever. And uh, some people do use this as a concealed carry weapon. You know, when you're on a tight budget, you got to make do with what you got. Now, both barrels do, they are ribbed. It's ribbed here on top, and you do have the... Uh, front blade at sight right there 
and I am going to put a little touch of uh, white out on both barrels here to help out with it. Target acquisition. Uh, what we have here, like I said, here's the keys. There's two of them right there. And this did come with a gun lock. Oh my God, this thing was a son of a gun to get out. It was in a pistol, shoved all the way up in the magwell, like that. And, yeah, it, I had a heck of a time getting it out. But you know what? It ain't going back in there. That ain't happening. Now, of course, what we do have here, also, deluxe range kit, if I can get a hold of it. Nice little embroidered patch right here, Phoenix Arms. I like that. That looks nice. You have your instruction manual and all the other paperwork. Let's see. And uh, this is a pretty good instruction manual right here for such a budget firearm. Go ahead and open it up. Check it out. Table of contents. Uh, very easy to read. Very understandable. You know, pretty much layman's terms. And in the back here, it's kind of a catalog where you can order accessories and other magazines uh, when I went to the Phoenix website a magazine for this pistol is about 25 bucks plus tax and shipping which isn't too bad and then I decided to try eBay and then things were up to $70 I'm like nope ain't happening uh, other papers right here Youth Handgun Safety Act notice of course and uh, pistol lock instructions right there okay got that out of the way uh, did, come, did come with uh, earplugs right here those squishy kinds you got some cleaning patches to clean your barrel with right up here you got the uh, wire brush to uh, clean the grit out of the barrel and right there's an attachment that goes on to this right here and it is brass I like it and the other attachment to put on this for your uh, cleaning patches you also got a uh, tube of uh, gun oil right here when I, I bought my original HP 22 some years back 10 11 years ago it was Lucas oil this here seems to have the uh, Phoenix Arms label on it and you not only have one 10 round flush fitting magazine you have a second 10 round magazine with a pinky extension now it does not extend capacity it's just a pinky extension and like I said this this firearm is safe here's the uh, flush fitting mag right here all well and good and here is the one with the pinky extension right there now to insert the magazines you know it, it's pretty easy it's no problem frames made out of a metal alloy some people might call it pop metal or whatever but uh, from my experience, it seems to have held up very well. And I'm talking about, you know, there, there's a lot of safety options on here. Right there, you pull that back. Let's see, up, down. Well, you got to have the magazine in. All right, down. Then you can pull it back. And if you want to leave the slide open, you have to pull back on the slide and raise up on that, like that. Okay. Now we're point name safe direction. I don't like dry fire and rim fires, but here we go. Not bad at all. And you do have a safety up here on top. And when I show you this shooting segment, I kind of embarrass myself because of this right here. Down for safe. 
There we go, up for fire. And this is a very stiff firearm. It's brand new. I just put the first rounds through it earlier today. Did well once I got everything figured out. Now there's a lot of other videos here on YouTube where you can get around all these safeties. Of course, I don't recommend tampering with safeties on any firearm, but you know, with this right here, it's just going to be a plinker for me. What do you say we uh, check out some video footage I made earlier today? I made mean, taking the first shots with this. I fire uh, 20 rounds through it, two 10 round magazines, bulk ammo. Let's make it happen. All right, my friends, my first shots, Phoenix Arms, HP 22A, 5-inch barrel. Got uh, two magazines here, both loaded with 10 rounds of bulk ammo. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Make sure I'm lined up here in frame. All right. You ready for this? There we go. Now, let's do it. Sure, we're good to go. Okay, it didn't fire. I wonder what's up with that. Move the magazine. Hmm. Let's try this again. Now. Nothing. Nothing. Safety here was on. Let's try that again. So damn many safeties. <laughs> that one's on me. Well, thought I was good to go, but uh, yeah, that's safety right there. Up for fire, down for safe. Got a blue million safeties on this thing. It's a good thing this is only a plinker. Tell you right there, it's a prime example. I would not use this for self-defense unless it was absolutely necessary. All right. There we go. It's a little tight, brand new. And did not hold open on last round, but that's to be expected with something like this. <laughs> oh well. We say we go wrap this up. All right, let's go ahead and get this wrapped up right here. Uh, get this off my hip. Oh, by the way, my garage gun for tonight is an early Gen 5 model Glock 17. Uh, no front serrations, and I do have the Crimson Trace light on front right there. Uh, speaking of Glock, hello, Daniel. Hello, Scotsman. <laughs> Uh, you know, I joke around with them guys. Uh, they're great. Do a lot of good work here on YouTube. Anyhow, this right here, Phoenix Arms HP 22A. 
Remember I said at the first of the video that this is a firearm you need to get used to. You got to get used to all the safety features on here. Uh, other than that, if you can get past that, it would be decent for, you know, self-defense carrier or maybe as a backup or as a JH586 said, he might want to put one in his wife's pocketbook. Jamie, if she would get used to it or what have you, that'd be all well and fine, but there are more other valuable options out there. Valuable. Viable. Yeah. Excuse me, my English language isn't that good tonight. But anyway, here are my options right here that I would recommend. Here we have a Charter Arms Pathfinder. Ultralight chambered in 22 long rifle and uh, all these firearms I'm about to show you they are safe eight round capacity uh, two inch barrel snub nose of course and it's very light feels good and uh, from the shooting I did with it it's very accurate this belongs to my granddaughter Jay Lee right here that's a good option another option Revolver wise, the Taurus M942, eight rounds, chamber and 22 LR. But this thing is heavy, okay? Uh, this has the same frame as the 22 Magnum 942M or the 856 chamber and 38 special, and it is plus P rated. And the 605, which is a five round revolver chamber and 357 magnum a little more weight but very reliable very dependable and if you want to get out of the budget range and go a little bit upwards right here would be the cream of the crop the rigor lcr chamber and 22 lr eight round capacity you have double action only right here. It's got a rotating cam. Yeah. And, you know, up to 15, 20 yards, this thing is dead on accurate from my experience. But if you want to stay in a semi-auto realm, right here would be my suggestion. The uh, Ruger LCP two chamber and 22 LR and I would suggest go ahead and get one with a hook grip okay 10 rounds 22 LR you know would be a great pocketbook gun for any female you know you got to reach down pull up you know and it's got a light, light rack slide on it you can't go wrong with that but for what any firearm choice you might make, you know, Phoenix Arms or whatever, uh, too many safety features. I'm just going to use this as a plinker. I would not recommend this as a, you know, concealed carry pistol unless you are very familiar with it. you got to get used to it. But... Uh, these riggers right here, very dependable, and uh, customer service rigger is tops. Taurus, this thing works like a dream. I've had no problems with it, but it's got some heft to it. And the Charter Arms, <laughs> eight rounds, ultra light, not a thing in the world wrong with it so far but I have no experience with their uh, customer service. So, you know, you gotta make up your own mind if you wanna use something as a backup or if a female wants something for concealed carry, I would recommend this right here, you know, uh, learn to use it, uh, learn the safety on it. But as far as the Phoenix Arms right here, these do work. They are a lot of fun. 
They're great clinkers, and I know a lot of people, once they get used to it, they carry them. You know, and there are shortcuts. You can get around the safety uh, system on it here, but I do not recommend doing that on any firearm. Well, anyway, that's just my opinion on it, so I thought I'd bring this to you, and uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. All right? I'm Mark, Garage Guy 879. I hope to catch y'all soon, and I hope to hear from you even sooner, and always remember, when you go shooting, please be safe.